album and I was all done with it and I was I thought it was very special was, for me it was kind of my most honest and best album in my opinion that I've ever made and I thought I don't want to just do something typical with it and I felt like there was more of the story to tell and so got together with Dave Myers and came up with this idea for her to bring me in at this point where she wants to talk about the journey that I missed the in-between time it was a really fun opportunity to to just rekindle and, and, and do something special together and get to know each other really well. My approach is always to keep the cameras, you know, as hidden as possible and a very kind of like voyeuristic approach to, to filmmaking and to not really be in her way. Like I always like to shoot from the side. I like to make the audience feel as though they're there. I'm super happy that I got to play young Jennifer Lopez and she was so fun and sweet to work with and I had a wonderful time. It seems to be the way that Jennifer and I have worked together in the past. The only way it works is, is or how it's worked, is she just gives me a call. And I'm like, she's like, hey, babe, or hey, honey. <laughs> she's just like, hey, baby, um, can you be for this thing we're doing? And I'm like, of course. So, you know, we always show up for each other. Every, uh, you know, uh, genre and, um, like, corner of it, the imagination was utilized um, because a person's life is so multifaceted and she really goes there. I like how vulnerable she's being and I think true artistry is about that. I think the only way to heal anything in this life is togetherness and you can only come together when you're sharing and I think she's sharing a, a great deal about herself. She don't play. She's, she's like very professional and so she wants you to be professional so you can't slip up with her. She didn't get to where she's at without being perfection. I got an audition, got a couple callbacks, and sure enough, I'm playing one of JLo's friends, so it's a totally surreal experience for me. An epic install, an absolutely mythological, surreal, but delicate and vulnerable, which is so needed, I think, in a time of such manufactured exteriors. So here comes somebody's heart that is really being presented at the forefront. This project is encapsulated in one of her lyrics that where she talks about how all she ever wanted to be when she grew up was a woman in love. And I think that's something we can all relate to, of wanting to fall in love and be in love. And I feel like it's going to connect with people. Working with Jennifer is really amazing. I mean, she's an incredibly hard worker and just like, I mean, a triple, quadruple threat. So it's impressive and really inspiring to just watch her work. I did The Mother uh, about a year ago with Jennifer and uh, then we got the call to just do a little small role in this. So I was thrilled because um, she's really the consummate professional. The whole crew around her, they respond to her really, with just like looks and little clicks and snaps. And it, to me, is it's, it's a community of people that know how to get the job done. And then on top of it, honestly, working with Dave Myers, unbelievable. A lot of, uh, sort of marquee people were assembled for this, but we weren't there all at the same time. So they had this like, rotating camera, so I played my little role, you know, my own little camera. I'm not an actor, all right? So, so I tried. <laughs> I think it's gonna redefine the modern musical. Just, it's a love letter from her heart. It is literally like a love letter from JLo's heart, and it's just insane. I think it's gonna touch people, and it's ultimately about self-love.